Today we're going to start with a new piece with a tiger lily. And this is a piece with orange and blacks and green. The background is green, but um, the lily is orange and the butterfly has some orange tints. This is a gorgeous uh, photograph and let's see if we can make it justice. So we're going to start with the light in this area. And this is the copiche. And I'm going to use very little pressure and I am using circular motion. And I'm going to zigzag uh, the edges. And then I'm going to go to the next color. And my next color is going to be orange. Um, let me just sharpen my orange. And this is orange. And when the orange he um, get to the area where we have the, the copiche, we're gonna also zigzag on the edges so that we combine both colors. I did not put a good coverage on my the copiche, so I'm gonna put another. And I'm zigzagging the edges. Um, if you have taken classes with me before, you know what I meant. My, what I mean is, in order to blend the edges, uh, you go up and down so that you blend uh, those two together. And I don't really like the color that that has; uh, it's too chalky for me. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lightly go with the orange on top of that. The copish. Lightly, lightly. Okay, so I'm gonna continue with the orange and I'm gonna go with the orange up to where you have that line. When I place lines, they are to guide you. Um, to, it will guide you if there's a change of color. That line will tell you put the color up to there. So all the lines that I put, they're very important. They have some significance. They have to be either a new color or a new section. So there's um, another color. We have to put a stronger, darker color. And I'm, I think I was going to put... Uh, Pumpkin orange. So let's put pumpkin orange. I loved, I made it like a guideline of the colors that I was going to use, but I cannot find it. It's not with the. I don't know what happened. So I'm going to put it in the edges because the edges have to be darker in order to that flower to have shape. You have to darken the edges. I'm going to blend that with the orange. zigzagging again then there's a tiny bit of dark on this side and it's kind of a line in there dark line blend a tiny bit that with the orange and at the same time that I'm blending I'm bringing more color into the Petal, because this is a flower. Then I'm gonna put the orange on this edge. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the pumpkin orange in here and the orange. Let's put the orange on that line. The 
Splendy is a second coat of both colors. And when I do second coats, I normally not on camera because it's exactly the same thing and we want to save but I, see, this is the first petal I'm showing you let me just the, that burnt ochre that we were used we have not used the burnt ochre the burnt ochre is gonna go in here but there's also some red so let's use the scarlet lake seems to that the red is in here tiny bit in here with the pumpkin orange Pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange. Where's the pumpkin orange? And then the. I'm gonna put uh, the light deco peach, and then I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put on top of that. I'm gonna put the orange because we don't want these to light the orange on top of that this is a hake brush and we need to have some uh, differentiation between those two lines This is the pumpkin orange, I mean the, the yeah, pumpkin orange. Okay, so there's a light lining here. Then we have this one in here and this one in here. I'm gonna blend this in here. This is uh, the pumpkin orange. I'm gonna bring the orange. Let's make this like that. The orange. Tiny bit of the scarlet lake in here. And the pumpkin orange in this section in the back. There's a green section in there. Do not cover that green section in there. This is where the pumpkin orange is gonna go. And then the this light section is up to here. That was the decoupation. This is the orange. We want this line lining here, tiny bit light in there, and we're gonna put the, the orange on top of that deco piece. And then we wanna put some of the red on that uh, there. And 
some of the orange and let's highlight with the copiche I need it, the chocolate. I probably need chocolate in here. I'm gonna use burnt ochre. I don't, I don't want to bring any more colors, so I'm gonna use burnt ochre in here. an ochre bring some of this orange some of the light in here At the same time that I am doing this I am um, Feeling all the holes, all the texture of this paper. And then I'm going to bring the orange on top of this. Because it has to be, look like it's the same petal, but this section is under shadow. want to bring that chocolate because it I need it to be more under shadow so I'm gonna bring the chocolate and I will be right back so I brought the chocolate and I'm gonna start shading with chocolate this side and the other side I'm gonna blend with the orange. So chocolate and orange. Chocolate is a very dirty color. We call them dirty color because it has dirt. It has black and gray. It is very um dirty and those colors uh, need to be blended with a lighter color so now we need to put the spots and the spots are going to be black I don't know if I have black in here I have to bring some black I will be right back now I did not put your spots in the pattern because it was going to be more uh, intricate and more um, difficult to to manage so you can put them whatever you want I'm gonna put one in here don't make them too big I'm gonna put another one in here I'm gonna follow like a line like this and another line in here and border Some are bigger than others. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that petal alone. I'm gonna go to the one on the top that I left at the top. And I'm gonna start with the light on the on the edge. the copish in there and a very light section in here there's a leg 
that goes all the way like that. The copiche. Up to that line that you have in there. Gave you a line in there so you know up to where to put that light. There's going to be red in here. This lower section is going to be red. And the red that we're using is Scarlet Lake. And the red is going to go up to the up to that line. And then you can put some of the orange on the lower section of here. This, um, the remainder we're going to put orange. Gonna leave this section in here is gonna be the copish alone. That section in there. But this section in here, we're gonna put the orange on top. So let's do it. Orange. Orange. Now let's bring the pumpkin orange. This is the pumpkin orange. And let's put some in here. And in here. Up to here. And on the back in here. Orange. Reinforce that deco piece that we have in there. That we don't want to lose. And the orange underneath. And the red in here. And the pumpkin orange in here. Uh, this is burnt okra. I, I was mistaken, but that's alright. And let's put the orange in here. And the uh, decoupage on the top. So I did again the repetition of the colors with you. But that they they are not looking the same, and I want to make them more the same. Some more orange. They have to look like they belong together. So I need them more orange and, and that will make the trick. And the red Scarlet Lake. And let's put a tiny bit of the red in here too. The orange and a tiny bit of the red in here. And let's put some dots. Some of the dots. And then there's some leg in there. Put the legs with black. Same 
time the antenna. Better to have a very good point. So I'm gonna um, take a good point of my on my pencil and I'm gonna go another coat on the legs and I will be right back what happens if you do this oh that is too too bad uh, well we were gonna paint the background so um, let's see gonna put a light color in there for the background I was gonna put a light color in here and the background we're gonna use some gamsol but what we can do this is a uh, chartreuse And I want to have light where the face of the butterfly is because I want to call attention to the butterfly. And then I'm going to use some of the apple green. And this is where you can make those smaller. That's gonna go over. It's probably better if we do this background before because we don't want to damage then later the flower or the butterfly so let's do the background and I'm putting the green but I want to have some let's see even lighter color in there with the yellow chartreuse because we're gonna use the chartreuse in other places then we can use the chartreuse like in here It doesn't matter the direction because we're going to use Gamsol. Let's put the apple green. And we probably have to do several stages of this background. I'm going to have darker coloring here so I'm gonna use olive green olive green here I'm gonna go around in there oopsie daisy I'm putting darker color in here. I'm gonna go around and I will be right back. I'm gonna put the olive green all the way around this flower and on the bottom in here, up to here, up to here, up to here. And then I'm gonna put it also in here. I'm gonna also put it in here, in here, and in here. And I will be right back. I will, I will show you what I did. Okay, so that was the olive green. And I put it all the way around. And now I'm going to um, take some of the... This uh, um, apple green and also put it in here. That's where we're going to meet with the olive green. So 
Let's put also some olive green in there. And you could have done this in acrylics if you wanted. Uh, these pieces I'm trying to do then this is apple green only in pencils. I'm not putting any it's really gonna be very tricky because we have the black in there. So I'm gonna probably use some liner when we I get to these areas. Probably this would have been better uh, not to paint the, the legs until we have done this. There's also some in here. Apple green. So I'm going to finish putting apple green everywhere that I have left and I will be right back. Okay, so I put the apple green. Now we're going to put another color putting all the colors and I'm going to put them twice because before I go with the, with the Gamsol I want to have a good amount of coverage let's put some of this apple green in here for the Gamsol to work you have to have a good amount of pencil this is apple green in here too so an apple green in here going like this because otherwise what you're going to be doing is taking out the pencil. So now I'm going to go with a darker, even darker color. See we have olive green. Let's put some moss green too. Moss green. green okay we want to have some chartreuse let's put some more of the chartreuse some light uh, other light areas chartreuse some areas to have a darker color and I don't want to go to black I should go to black but let's see maybe yeah I'm gonna put black on this side in here I want to make sure that I put very light the black because the black when you put the gamsol is very 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 strong and I don't want it to overpower I'm gonna go with the brush and I'm gonna do my first um, let me see what size of brush I'm gonna use I need a liner and I need some this is size a uh, liner number one and um, flat number eight that's what I'm gonna use with some gum sole. Gonna start with a flat. And my gun sole is already dirty because I have used it before in other colored pencil pieces and that's alright. You need to have a piece of paper towel. And I'm gonna go in here. And 
and brush. I'm gonna be very careful when I go close to the flower. So I'm not gonna put it close to the flower or close to the legs. See how pretty? But we're not gonna be doing all this on camera so you get the idea. I'm like scrambling the brush and I'm doing like a circular motion with the brush and scrambling and it is taking all the areas. Now, um, while it is wet, you can uh, work again and it's better if you do this by sections so while it is wet you can put more pencil uh, darker areas if you want to have darker areas and you can even go back with the brush while it is wet and so do it section by section. So I'm going to do my background like this and I will be right back. So I'm still on the background and now I wanna have some lighter areas and some darker areas. So I, I still have the gelo chartreuse in here and I put some chartreuse in here and now I'm putting some dark on, on here so that was olive green and I'm gonna put some black so I'm gonna have some light areas and some dark areas put some black in here and I'm putting in them like um, see if I can go farther I'm putting them like they go up like this and they disappeared so I still have my brush, it's not wet enough, but it has some color, um, let me see if I can put some more gum salt, but I don't want to have much. And when you, the brush that you're going to use for this is a brush that you don't uh, care about it too much. I'm going to put that in the instructions. Uh, so that, um, it's going to get damaged because this surface is very rough and I don't care because these are not the brushes that I use to paint I have other brushes that are my favorite I'm going to blend that at um, no I, I wanted it to be this dark but I probably have to put this dark someplace else best put it in to go up to here from here to here like this and I'm using whatever is left on the brush leave that area with this other color the green there the apple green I want to bring that black to this side I'm gonna finish blending this in here And I'm going to bring that black to the other side, but I was, I lost some of my 
green so I'm gonna bring it back apple green and maybe this brings some of the chartreuse and brush is dirty probably if we wipe the brush or clean the brush and how can we clean it we go into the console and then into the paper towel or we clean it or we get, grab another brush and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab another brush that is clean because I want to put the light in there chartreuse I'm gonna put some gamsol on that brush, which is dirty, by the way. I don't care as long as the brush doesn't have the dirt too. And now I am putting that in there. Okay, so you get the idea of what I want you to do. Keep on going. Put some dark areas and you have the colors that I want. Very dark areas are black. Uh, medium areas are apple green. You have very light areas with yellow chartreuse and other light areas with chartreuse. Let's blend this in here. I'm putting anything else on the brush. I'm just blending with whatever it is on the brush. So I'm gonna, th that treatment that I did, I'm gonna finish it all the way around and I will be right back. This is Canary Yellow. And I'm putting a finer highlight in there because I do want to have something bringing attention to this area of the design. And I did put a um, tiny bit of the orange in here. So orange in there and canary yellow. And this one is yellow chartreuse in here. Combine the canary yellow with the yellow chartreuse in there. And the chartreuse. Okay, so I'm going to blend this last thing and that's the, I'm not going to keep on doing here anymore because you can be playing on the background the whole day and this is not about the background, it's about the design, okay? Before I stop, I'm just going to bring the orange a tiny bit in here. Tiny bit in there. And that's the last thing that I'm going to do to this background and we're going to continue with the design.
Okay. So, even our background is not dry, I'm going to finish with the flowers. By the way, if you want, you can also use the camisole in the flowers, but I am not going to. Maybe this is too dark. You can put a tiny bit of whatever is left on your brush in there to make it lighter. And this one. Okay, time to continue. I lied. I kept up working on the background. I didn't like um, it was too light in here. I'm um, putting the olive green. On top of this, it's gonna be light, but not this light. I don't want to call too much attention to the background, and I was it was calling too much attention to the background. So I'm just adding olive green everywhere I put that other color. Okay, and I um, probably bring some darker, some darking here with the black. Extend the black, but remember that we are going to combine that black with the olive green. We don't want it that black, and maybe with um, apple green. Continue that in here. What you bring in there? Okay, so I'm gonna put console and I will be right back. Okay, so we're gonna continue with the flower, and the next petal is gonna be orange sure our orange is a tiny bit dirty and let's see we have to put um, tiny bit of the pumpkin orange in there Gonna put orange all the way in there, and then I'm gonna highlight. Gonna highlight with the deco piece, mostly on in here and then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the red scarlet lake in there and that's it I'm gonna put some if I missed some of the background in here Okay, there's um, dots, let me 
see pumpkin orange in here reinforce that dark in there and maybe we can put a tiny bit of obsessy yeah now this is below this one let's put red in here Right in there, salmon, uh, the copish on this area in here, and that's uh, gonna have orange too. Let's put orange in here. the copish on the border and we bring the red all the way down scarlet lake orange And pumpkin orange on the other side, tiny bit of the burnt okra on that side, maybe chocolate. Tiny bit of chocolate in here. Orange Let's put um, pumpkin orange on the one behind Orange Hake brush the capiche orange. Pumpkin orange Orange brush Scarlet Lake well before we do the Scarlet Lake there's a light section in here with the deco peach and orange and then this other section in here, from here to here, you have a line in there that is the deco piece. Then you have a um, cast shadow, which is um, chocolate, and then deco piece. And you're gonna put deco piece also on top of the chocolate. And then you're gonna put orange on top of everything. And 
you have to do that twice. This is burnt ochre. That's burnt ochre. And Scarlet Lake on the remainder. Oh, wait. The Copiche. And Scarlet Lake. Put some orange on top of that scarlet lake. Orange. Scarlet lake. Scarlet Lake in here and in here and in here okay I'm gonna reapply all the colors and those petals and I will be right back I was missing this line of burn ochre in here Okay, and then now I'm going to continue doing another coat of all the colors. You can go back if you don't remember where to put them. Okay, so with the chocolate, you're going to shade in here. And let's highlight. Let's highlight in here with the decopish and a tiny bit in here decopish and let's put the black spots Sometimes they're very tiny and sometimes they're big. Okay, so let's continue and let's base coat. When I put line peel in the center in here, and then the edges are going to be base coated with moss green. those two both green and lime peel. I'm not gonna do too much with that. So more green and lime peel. Now this most green I'm 
you have to put it in here. And I'm trying to figure it out. This in here. There's another one like this. And in here. And in here. Let's fill in the center with cream. And the remainder, that's a tiny bit in here. And the remainder is going to be orange. So I'm going to fill in the remainder with orange and I will come back to show you where I put the orange. So this is where I put the orange. I'm going to go with the red Scarlet Lake and shade. Let's put back the orange on time. Let's take chocolate and shade in here and put back with the cream. Let's take some of the yellow ochre. yellow ochre in here and the cream highlighting there there's a tiny section of cream in here then we're gonna take the olive green this is the orange the orange we're gonna take the olive green Make sure it has a good point, and we're gonna make lines. Lines. Tiny bit of orange in here. Okay, so we're going to shade that with black. And we can shade this a tiny bit with black. the most green olive green this is olive green Let's take the cream on top of that chocolate Let's take white I'm going to this is very very tiny and I'm making it very very large for you to see but um, you're gonna see a lot of imperfections because they're not um, I cannot see those imperfections with my naked eye because this is blown up very very close So based on what you're seeing in there, I'm going to try to fix it. 
using the camera as my blown eye. I don't know my Let's take uh, some of the burnt orange. Okay, so let's put uh, chocolate dots in there. One, two, three. Mm, we can put black. Okay, let's take orange, fix that in there. Oh, it's not good. Shoo, 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 shoo. That's the green. Okay, so let's continue. Let's put it the right size. This is a tiny, tiny. Uh, you see my hand and the painting? is very small. It's smaller than 4 by 6 um, It's actually... No, it's 5 by... It's 4 and a half by 5. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give another coat to fill in and I will be right back. That's where I put the light piece and I'm going to put the remainder from here. To here. With orange. Be right back. So this is what I have. I'm going to go with orange on top of that. And on top of that. gonna take pumpkin orange or maybe burn ochre and shade that in there gonna take burn ochre and shading here and chocolate Gonna put another coat of the orange and I will be right back. So I'm gonna start shading with pumpkin orange. Shading that in there and in here. I'm going to also want to put some of the red in there, Scarlet Lake. And let's re-highlight with the light peach, deco peach, oh this is light peach, deco peach that we're using. The reason in here, this one is more yellow. It has some yellow. Let's put canary yellow. Canary yellow. We're gonna put canary yellow also in here. 
canary yellow. And we're going to blend that with the orange. When you look at photographs, you have to see those subtle changes in, in hues and values. Because it is more, it is warmer on this side and it is cooler on this side. So temperature is also important. You have to put those changes in temperature, this is orange, in your piece too. Let's take a tiny bit of pumpkin orange in there. And sometimes, sometimes you have to put values that you do not see in the photo because the photo uh, is really flat. It doesn't capture the real uh, form. It's what important when you painting that you don't follow exactly the photo because you're not gonna have you're gonna have a, a flat painting. Let's put uh, orange in there too. I'm trying to, I mean, canary yellow. I'm trying to make this very warm. And we're gonna also go back to the orange and blend with the orange. This is the burnt ochre. Scarlet Lake. Okay, there's a highlight in here. This is uh, the canary yellow, and I'm gonna put on top of the canary yellow the light dish. Light beige. Now I want to put the ones that are in this section. I'm gonna put them with um, probably mulberry. Let me see how it looks with mulberry. Mulberry is probably too light. Maybe not. So it's going to be mulberry in here. And then with black in the back. Okay, I'm gonna put on top of that mulberry a darker color. Dark brown, let's see dark brown. Mulberry plus dark brown. And 
and then in the ba back I'm gonna put black Brown. Okay. We are going to continue with the bottom section and instead of uh, using the pish, uh, the deco pish, we're going to use sand on this bottom section. Notice that I'm not putting it in here because it is so that section is so dark that in there I'm gonna put the orange. But uh, before I do that, there's another section of sand in here. And in here. So in between I'm gonna put orange. almost done with this flower and then we're gonna go to the butterfly okay so I'm gonna put this orange on top of the sand we're gonna take a pumpkin orange and start shading and shading here and in here pumpkin orange shading let's put orange in this section and it's gonna be Shaded with pumpkin orange. Let's take some canary yellow. And let's put some orange on top of this canary yellow in here. Again the sand. Pumpkin orange. Orange. Let's go to a darker color, which is the burnt ochre. Put a tiny bit of cream in here.
going to be a very highlight also in here and that's why you have that line in there okay before I do another coat on that one I'm going to base coat down the, the next one, the last one and then we're going to do another coat out of camera. So let's start with orange. I don't know if I'm missing a line or what from the pattern, I'm gonna check. I will be right back. Before I forget, there's another section that we're missing. I'm gonna put pumpkin orange in here. And I'm gonna put, uh, let me see if I can go close that tiny bit, okay. I'm gonna put uh, orange and pumpkin orange again. And I'm gonna shade with Ben Ochre. Okay, so the other one, we're going to put orange in here. I'm going to base coat um, the section in the back with sand plus orange, so I'm going to start with the sand. And it's going to go up to here. Then this section is going to have orange plus red scarlet lake I mean scarlet yeah scarlet lake let's put canary yellow on that highlight and white Okay, this is the red Scarlet Lake. And the orange. Let's uh, put um, the deco peach in this um, edge all the way there and let's put it also on this edge okay let's fill in with orange and I will be right back okay so I filled in with orange I put the orange on top of um, the other sections where we paint them with the other color I'm gonna put again this time I'm gonna put yellow ochre on this section yellow ochre put yellow ochre also on that border Let's start shading with pumpkin orange in here. Okay, 
Okay, let's put orange again. And remember that we're going to put another coat of color outside of camera. Do not forget that on these two, two petals that we are finishing. Put a tiny bit of orange on, on this area. Put some green in there. Fix that area with some green. Okay, now that we have the green, let's just put uh, the apple green on this one. Okay, so this uh, put um, lime peel, a space coat lime peel. The space coat this one lime peel. Okay, this is olive green. Those are shadows with olive green. Highlight with, uh, let me see, what is this? Gel chartreuse. And the other one can be highlighted with lime peel. That's not olive green. Olive green in there. Okay, let's shade with olive green. Let's highlight this with the copiche in the center. And let's put um, the orange. And we're going to put another coat of color on all these outside of camera. You can go back and check what it was. This is burn ochre. Less fine cream. I like this with cream. Cream. And let's find sand. Let's take the um, yellow ochre in there. And 
the brown chocolate. We need to put the we need to put the dots, but there's a tiny section that we're missing. And it's in here. That's orange and burnocker. And now we're gonna put dots. Put black dots. Black dots. And I think I need to put a tiny bit of orange in here. So I'm going to do a second coat of color. This is the, the color lake. So I'm going to do a second coat of color on this, on everything in there as soon as I paint the last leaf. Again, I'm going to base coat with apple green. I'm going to shade with olive green. I'm going to highlight this time with the um, yellow chartreuse. And blend with the apple green. Let's put a tiny bit of olive green underneath here okay so I'm going to give everything a second coat of color down here left any spaces between the pattern and the painting is now is the moment to do it. So I'm going to give a second coat of color and then we're going to move to the butterfly. I want to shade, further shade this with black. And blend with the olive green. I'm going to blend that black with a lime peel. And apple green. I needed a color between black and the color that I had, which was the olive green. Black was too dark too fast. Okay. Back to my olive green.
So I'm going to leave that alone. Uh, we still have to blend this with the line peel in here. That highlight. We'll need uh, to seal to do these stamens, but we're going to go with the butterfly and then the stamens. So let's do the butterfly. The butterfly is has some color, but it's mostly black. Let's bring, see if we can go a tiny bit closer. And we're going to find the sections that are sand, the color sand. And we're going to paint the sections that have color and then we, the remainder we put it with black. So this is sand. Has a tiny bit of highlight with cream. Cream. Okay, so let's put orange. the orange sections With another um, section of white in here and you know white if you don't put it at the beginning it's not going to be longer white so let's put the white Oops, wrong place. Wrong place. What happens with these type of tiny paintings with a lot of circles? And that is not where the Y goes. I'm going to take that from there and I will be right back. So I use a tape, I put the tape in there like this and then um, color on top of it and that will take some, okay? Uh, you can do the tape because the tack was not removing it. The tack removed some of the fins. Now that you have the flower, you can see the background is not that bad. Uh, once you have other things in there. So we're going to keep on doing the white that we were doing. And it is in here. This one has two. Then it goes up and he has a tiny bit of white okay so orange
orange okay then for an orange using the same colors that we have used before even though this may not, may not be burnt orange but I think I'm gonna use burnt orange because I want to repeat the colors I want to lose those black lines I'm gonna put them black One more. Burn ochre. white in here and in here okay let's go to cream one two this is cream oh, this is sand sand then there's one two three one, two, and three, and one, two, let's see, one, two, Go with white. Okay, let's see. Let's see if if we can put chocolate in here. Uh well. It will have to be chocolate with another color because this color is different than this one but it's not as let me see if we put chocolate with um, sand still not the color but we can try that so we're gonna put chocolate and sand but before we do that let's put the, um, I'm gonna put the black here 
and I will be right back and show you. Okay, so I put the black in there and sand on the three dots and sand on that line that is separating them. So I'm gonna show you a trick. Instead of putting layers and layers and layers of black, I'm gonna find a brush. Let me see where I put that brush. Here. I'm gonna find a liner brush and I'm gonna use cancel. Okay, the camera stop filming so I don't know how much you saw of what I did uh, but I was putting gun soul in here and I'm gonna show you again um, I'm going to blend with olive green this back section of the wing and what I did was instead of putting layers and layers and layers of pencil I went over with cancel and I'm gonna do it again I'm gonna put a, two layers of the pencil at least two layers of the black pencil in here and I have a liner that I'm gonna dip in cancel I don't know where I put the liner. Oh, here is the liner. And let's find the gum sole. So I dip the liner in gum sole. And now I'm going to liquefy the black so that I don't have to put many, many layers of black. This black is a color that is hard to, to cover. So I'm going to put this on all those black lines and I did put them uh, on, the, on all the legs and on the antenna. Okay, so take your time and do this part and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put a very light coat of sand. Very, very, very light coat of sand on all these in here in the back. Remember that we were going to combine the sand with the chocolate. And let's go with the chocolate. Sand and chocolate. Chocolate. Now we are going to highlight and shade. I'm going to shade with black, but before we shade with black, I'm going to reinforce the, those lines. So it's probably um, my pencil had a 
needle point okay so let's reinforce and start shading with black shading with black We're going to highlight this one with sand. A shade with chocolate first. And then we're going to highlight with sand. Tiny bit in here. And we can highlight a tiny bit this with sand. And then we can put more chocolate. Maybe we can even put some black. I'm going to go farther because you're seeing it closer than what normally anybody can do it. Blending. Nobody gonna con close 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 their eyes to see every single speckle. This is black on the tips, black in here. Okay, so that's for that section. And this other section in here we're gonna shape with um chocolate. But let's do the black section. There's the body is black. So we're gonna paint the whole body with black and use the gum sole. And we're gonna lose this, the sections. You're gonna lose them. Sign in there. So let's do the whole body. If you don't wanna lose the highlights, you can put white. There's a highlight in here and here, here and here and in here. Okay, let's put a black on the whole body and I'm going to do this outside of camera so that I can go closer because I, my eyes are not too good and I'm gonna put black on the whole body okay I think you are able to do that on your own and we'll be right back okay so I'm gonna show you a section I put the black before I put the console I'm going to reinforce the dots because I don't want to lose them. And then I'm going to take the liner with a tiny bit of cancel. And go around. So that's what you're going to do with the whole body. And that way you're going to get that very strong black that you need. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this for the whole body and I will be right back. There is a white highlight in that section, so put that white highlight before you put the black. Before I continue, put Scarlet Lake in here and chocolate in this three sections. So chocolate, 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 chocolate and scarlet lake in here, in here. Okay, and then you can continue with the black. Put some of the black for you on camera.
Let's put a tiny bit of white in here because we don't want to, sometimes we don't want to lose them. And in here, because we don't want to lose those lines. White, white, white. We're going to put black. But you have to put some white to an in here in those sections. White, white, and then finish with the black. Almost done with this butterfly because it's not a hard thing to do. Okay. So now we're gonna go to the gun sole with the liner. I think you still have some. Black in here. You might need to take the white and put some back some of the highlights that you lost. a tiny tint of of uh, orange on this okay so we're gonna highlight this with orange shape with uh, chocolate first and I think I'm gonna sh shape with dark brown in there a tiny bit of browning here A 
have put chocolate in there. Chocolate. So we're going to put dark brown in here. And maybe we can put back the uh, burn ochre color. And I want to put again the orange. I like contrast on my pieces. I like to have contrast a lot. I think that's what I'm um, going to make a piece stand out from others when you have contrast. I think I'm going to put some orange also in this section. just because I want to. This section in the photograph you can hardly see this section I did it by what I wanted to do it's not really what is on the photo okay so I'm going to Put another coat on the legs and I'm going to call this one done. I decided to put yellow ochre where I put the sand because yellow ochre is a tiny bit more colorful than the sand. So yellow ochre in there. Maybe a tiny tint of the um, canary yellow. And maybe a tiny bit of the orange. I don't see the color that I want to see. That's why I'm playing with other colors. Yeah, that's better. Much better. That's the color that I wanted. Okay, so I'm going to finish with the legs. And then we're going to move to the, to the stamens. Okay, so the middle one... It's going to be base coated with, um, let's see, a coat of chartreuse and a coat of lime peel. That middle one, chartreuse rose lime peel. And then we're going to base coat the next two with cream. Cream, the next two. And then uh, the next one with canary yellow, this one, the sand, and lime peel on this one. So base coat them that way and we'll be right back. Thing is that they are darker at the bottom so from that section on okay so they are light up to here this is cream up to there they are light up to here and then this is cream And then they start getting darker. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a uh, chocolate and separate them in here with chocolate. And then I can take dark brown. And then all that it's going to be base coated with lime peel. Up to the area that is light. This is chartreuse. Remember the middle one was base coated with chartreuse. 
plus line fill. And the statement section, let's put Sienna Brown in here. This is Sienna Brown. Chartreuse. Plus line peel. Let's put a tiny bit of olive green in there. What do you do if you have something too dark and you want to lighten? You have to take a light color. See that line? This is yellow chartreuse. You have to take a, a light color in order to eliminate that line. This is uh, apple green. And let's put um, olive green in there. I'll add that line that I want to eliminate. This is cream. Okay, so let's put olive green in here to darken this section. Olive green. Okay, let's work on the stamens. So, let's take uh, the burnt ochre. Continue that one. And we can put a tiny bit of burnt ochre in here. And on this one, and on this one, and the remainder is going to be very dark. Let's put dark brown. So I'm going to base coat uh, the remainder with dark brown, and I will be right back. I have to go closer because I don't see too well, okay? Okay, so I put a tiny bit of dark brown also on the tip of that one. Now I'm going to start shading with black. Let's shade this one with black. Try to go on that line that I have in there. This one is very dark. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of black on top of this one. Let's take a tiny bit of the lime peel. And maybe a tiny bit of orange to highlight. Okay, so we were putting black. They're mostly black. I'm putting more more colors than what it have on the picture. They're black black. Okay, so yellow ochre and cream. Where's the cream? Cream and maybe 
we can put a tiny bit of the yellow, canary yellow, and a white highlight. very light, it's the lightest one. Then we have creaming here. Sorry, I don't know if I was out of camera, but what I did was, I'm gonna go back again. Yellow ochre in here. I put a tiny bit of um, canary yellow in there and then highlight it with white. Now I'm putting cream in this one. And I'm gonna put a tiny bit of canary, I mean yellow ochre. Highlight with cream. And let's take That's the, this is the color of the olive cream. Okay, so let's shade this one with olive cream. I'm going to put a tiny bit of yellow ochre in here on this one and this one this is the olive green let's put a tiny bit of yellow ochre on this one too almost done in here. Let's take the moss green. Can I find the moss green? Oh, moss green. And we're going to shade this one. And after you do that, and I'm going to highlight that a tiny bit with a uh, yellow chartreuse. Put olive green also on this one and blend it with a uh, lime peel. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna highlight the middle one with cream and we're gonna call this done. I hope you enjoy this or oh, maybe this one also with cream. And maybe it should have some yellow, uh, yellow ochre to this one. Oops. All of them should have some yellow ochre actually. So, thank you for joining me. Um, you have any problem like that, just go with the background color, olive green, and fix it. And it's been a pleasure. Uh, 
Thank you for joining me for another of these. I'm going to bring you the, the background paper so you can see it, and we're going to call it done. Okay, so this is the background, and we're going to also glue these embellishments. And I hope you like what we did. Um, come back for more classes at tallbrush.com. Bye.